Welcome to Bible Logos. I'm Deborah Phipps, your broadcast host. And today I'm excited to bring to you part four of what God likes. Please do me a favor, like and share this message on social media with all your friends and family. All right, let's get to the word. Here is part four of what God likes. The fact that you have the keys to your house or that you have the code that you can punch in at the door is not proof that you own your house. If there is a dispute and you go to court, you're gonna have to produce the deed to the house in order to prove that you are the owner of that house. Now, for those of us who don't own a car yet, for those of us who don't own a house yet, you have played Monopoly. Okay, remember the game Monopoly? If somebody rolls 11 and you count it out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then you do your dance because they landed on your property. What property did you own? I own Boardwalk. Pay me $1,200. The first thing they're going to ask you is to produce the deed. I, I don't believe I ever saw you own that property purchase that property, and then you break out the deed and say, here's the deed. The deed says, since I have this many houses on here, you owe me $1,200. You owe me $2,000. You owe me whatever it is, and your proof is a sheet of paper. This scripture lets us know that our proof of the promise of God is the word of God. So when I believe and have faith in the word of God and I'm convicted with the, that the word of God is true, that's the faith that acts as though it is a title and that acts as though it is a deed. Peter said, we scared out here. You sent us out here on this boat and the waves are rocking. And we see a figure coming up, look like he's walking on the water. Lord, if it be you, bid that I come out there with you on that water. Jesus said, come. The Bible says that Peter stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the water to go to Jesus. Hallelujah. Faith is that title deed. It's that monopoly card that caused him to walk on that water to go to Jesus. It wasn't anything. It wasn't because the water became a solid ground. It wasn't because some type of physical thing happened to Peter and he became a spirit instead of a man. None of that other kind of stuff occurred. What happened was he believed the word of God. And because he believed the word of God and responded to the word of God, he did something that defies natural laws. Faithful defy natural laws, people of God. Hallelujah. But what happened, the Bible says that Peter began to look around him. And he saw that the wind, the wind was blowing real hard and the, the waves was rocking real hard. And he took his eyes off of the Lord and then he began to sink. So what happens to us is that when we take our eyes off of the Lord, when we take our eyes off of the word, we begin to sing. When we start looking around, well, they talking about me well. They're laughing at me well. I don't know if this is working. It doesn't seem like it's coming to pass like I wanted to. We take our eyes off of the word of God, and that's when we begin to sing. The fourth point I want to make on this is that faith is now. Everybody say now. Faith is now. Faith is present tense. The scripture says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is present. It is not future. This is so significant and so important because a lot of times we think that we're operating in faith when we're actually operating in hope. If it's future, it's not faith, it's hope. So if I say I believe that God is going to do such and such, that is not faith, that is hope. Faith pulls it into the present tense. I believe that God spoke his word and in his word he says such and such. And whether I see it today or not, God said it and I believe it. That's faith. Faith says I believe what he says in spite of what I see. I believe what he says in spite of what I feel. I believe in what he says in spite of what the obstacles are. I believe what he said in spite of what the doctors said. Faith stands on the word of God. 
But now this is not to criticize hope because hope is significant and hope is important because the starting place is hope. We've got to start with hope. We have to have a hope in order to attach faith to it. But remember, hope is not faith because faith is the substance of hope. It doesn't say faith is hope. Faith is the substance of the things that we hope for. Faith is my assurance that what I've asked God to do will manifest. Hallelujah. I'm hoping that it'll come to pass. But when I put my faith onto it, I believe that it's already done and it's got to manifest because God said it. How do you know it's going to come to pass? I have faith in the word of God. I believe what God said. Well, don't you see all of those obstacles and all of those things that, anyway, didn't you remember what that doctor said to you? In spite of what that doctor said to me, I believe that God's word will manifest in my life because God cannot lie. Faith ignores that which contradicts the word of God and lashes itself onto the word of God. I'm talking about Bible faith. I'm talking about the stuff that pleases God. Faith is my confirmation that I am not going to remain in this state. This too shall pass. This is just a temporary situation. This thing right here is just some light affliction because God has delivered me by his word. And so I'm just looking forward to the time that I'll step over and cross in because God said it. And when he said it is when it was done. Faith recognizes that I'm not waiting on God to do anything. God already did everything he was going to do. Jesus said it is finished. And when he said it was finished, it was finished. So my faith is what brings it to pass. Then he says here that faith is the proof. It's the evidence. Faith is the witness. Anybody here have had to go to court and be a witness? Some of you may have been called to court to be a witness. Some of you have been called to court to serve on a jury. Others of you may have been called to court to have somebody witness against you. But whichever role I play, faith is the witness. Faith is the testimony. Faith is the evidence. Welcome back. You don't want to miss the conclusion tomorrow of the message, What God Likes. Please don't hesitate to like and share this message with your friends and family. I'm Deborah Phipps, and I want you to remember that the sower sows the word, and therefore it is with the same measure you need that it shall be measured unto you again.